Hello guys, welcome back to yet another interesting video. And this time, finally, there are a lot of features introduced on Android 15 Beta 2. We did not see much of changes in initial builds of Android, but this Beta 2, which is recently released, have got a lot of changes. So in this video, we'll talk about every change. What are you guys gonna see with Android 15 Beta 2 builds? So now without wasting any more time, let's get started. So here I have my Pixel 7a. I've already updated the device. If I go to about section and show you guys the software information, device is 7a. Android version, it says vanilla ice cream and if I tap here, you can see the easter egg of Android 15. The latest build comes with 5th May 2024 security patch and the build number is .022. I was already running beta 1 so I received an OTA update. Let me show you the update size. So here you can see over beta 1 the update size was 771 MB. And guys before moving ahead if you guys like our content and if you think it's useful for you guys then make sure to smash that like button and also consider subscribing to our channel. So one of the major add-on which a lot of pixel users were waiting and that's the private space. So if you go to security and privacy under the privacy you can see there's a new tab called private space. Tapping on it it'll ask you to unlock your device. Here you can hide or lock applications in completely different space. But remember guys you need an additional Google account to use private space. So if you scroll down here, you can see there are few information given to set up the private space. One of them is choose a Google account for your space. And it also says you create a dedicated account which will help you to stop syncing files, photos and emails appearing outside your space. So if you're using private space, it's recommended that you use your different Google account so that files and other stuff doesn't get synced with the current account which you are running on your device. You also have the ability to lock your private space and you can also install the applications from Play Store which will be completely separate. So let's complete the setup and I'll show you guys how does it work. So it's asking to add in Google account. I'll skip this for now. Use screen unlock. Now tapping on done. So now once you have set your private space towards the bottom side you'll see a new tab called private. Tapping on it you need to unlock your device. By default system will add few applications like camera, chrome, contacts etc. And if you want to install different applications you need to again have the Google account logged in so that you can download the applications from the Play Store. You can just tap on the lock icon to lock the private space. Tapping on the setting gear icon. So here there are few other options. One is you can delete your private space. After that you also have an option to completely hide the private space from the app drawer. So let me show you that also. If I turn it on, tap on got it. If I lock the private safe, you won't see that section of private space. And if you want to access, you need to access from the security and privacy setting. You also have the ability to lock the private space. By default, the option which is selected, that's only after the device restarts. But you still have two options like after five minutes of inactivity or you can use the option every time you lock the device. So whenever you lock the device, even the private space will get locked. So this is one new add-on, what they have done. And as I said, you can also delete the private space whenever it is required. After that, there's also another add-on what they have done that's related to Bluetooth. So if you go to connected devices, under connection preferences, Bluetooth, now there's a new tab called automatically turn on again tomorrow. So for example, if you have turn off the Bluetooth from the settings, it will automatically turn on tomorrow if this option is enabled. And the same thing, you can also do it in the Bluetooth quick setting tiles. Just by tapping on it, once you turn off the Bluetooth, you'll see that option automatically turn on tomorrow. Also another change what you'll see on this latest build of Android 15 Beta 2 and that's led to split screen mode. So for example, I'll open this application in split screen, tapping on it and I'll also select the second application. So now you can see we are in split screen. If I go to the recent page, tapping here, you'll see a new option called save app pair. Tapping on it, now you'll have a app icon on the home screen with both the applications stacked together for split screen mode. So whenever you tap on this icon, both the applications will open in the split screen mode, whichever you have selected. But one thing which I notice here, so for example, right now you can see YouTube application is on the top side and the settings page towards the bottom side. So if I double tap and swap the positions of both the applications and then I go back to the home screen, you can see the icons doesn't get changed. But I'm not sure whether it's a bug or not, or this is how it will be in future. And guys, there's another major change in these sounds and vibration settings. I'm not sure initially this setting opened on my device. I mean the subsetting under sound and vibration but now they are not opening. I have tried everything clearing the data, clearing the caches and even I had reset the settings of this device. Still if I open the sounds and vibration settings, the settings page crashes. But I'll tell you what two major upgrades they have done here. Firstly you'll see a dedicated preview. 
explaining its functionality and the second one is now device uses microphone and sensors to adjust vibration strength based on the environmental condition for example on the flat surface the vibration decreases while on sofa it increases this is actually an improvement over beta 1 which only had the reduced vibration option when kept on the flat surface or if the device was facing up and on the previous builds there was an option called color contrast which was available under accessibility settings but now it has been moved here under wallpaper and style section so if you open color contrast here you do have few options to adjust like medium high you can see the color essence changes the intensity while choosing between medium high or default and there's also option which says maximize text contrast after enabling this you can clearly see the highlighted text after that usb debugging icon have been changed which has been updated in android 15 and you can see the screenshots which i took before and after updating the device also there's a slight change on the lock screen for example previously we had a text which used to say enter your pin but now it only says enter pin so this is one minor change what you'll see on the lock screen after that there's completely redesigned volume panel talking about the revamped volume control so here you can see and if you tap here towards the left side corner you can completely mute the sounds just with a single tap you also have an option to expand and contract the volume controls towards the top side you have the speaker sound option which can be reduced or increased i personally like the ui redesign on this latest build you have both the options for example if you tap on the right side the volume goes to 100 percent if you tap towards the left side it goes to completely silent mode and another change what you'll find on android 15 beta 2 that's in the suggested applications so previously if we had to remove the app suggestion we used to drag the application from here and then after taking on the home screen there used to be an option using which we can disable suggestion but now if you long press in the pop-up menu itself there's an option called do not suggest so this is one change what you'll see in the app drawer and also another change is layer to widgets so whenever you long press on any application or if you go to widget section instead of dragging the widget and dropping to the home screen now if you tap the widget there is a new tab called add so just by tapping on it you can add the widget on the home screen and it implies to all the application whichever have widget support and the same thing can also be found in the widget section so for example if i tap here you can see the add icon and another change here in the widgets now you have three different sections here one is essential the second one is social and the third one is entertainment. So these three slider tabs you'll see now on the widget section. And the last change is layer to predictive back animation. So if you guys remember previously I used to talk about it and by default it used to be disabled on every device. But now with beta 2 it's enabled by default. So you don't have to enable it from the developer settings. Predictive back animation gets into action soon you install the latest build of Android 15 beta 2. So guys these are all the changes what you'll see on Android 15 beta 2. If you guys have any kind of questions, let me know in the comment section below. This is your friend Ashok signing out. See you guys in the next video.